In this video, we'll show how to get started with the Aruba User Experience Insight agent. User Experience Insight consists of sensors that measure what the end user experience is like by running synthetic tests. And these sensors report these test results to our cloud-based dashboard where you can see what your network is like across all of your remote locations. We have a hardware sensor, which is a fixed and dedicated device that you position as close to users as possible. In addition, we have an agent that runs on Android-based devices that runs synthetic tests on these devices in the background, so it doesn't disrupt whatever the user is doing. For Zebra devices, we also collect information from Wireless Insights, which gives us information on roaming performance as well as voice performance. And just like the hardware sensors, these results are reported to our cloud-based dashboard as well. So before we get started, the first thing we need to do is for our Zebra devices, we need to make sure that the devices are running the appropriate operating system with the appropriate lifeguard updates. Next, we need to install the Wireless Insights license and activate the Wireless Insights feature. Wireless Insights is a unique capability provided by Zebra. And this gives our agent the ability to collect roaming information, SIP call performance information, and collect packet captures. Wireless Insights is a licensed feature from Zebra, and you can get a license from Zebra, or for trial purposes, you can request a license from Aruba UXI support. If you don't have a Zebra Wireless Insights license now, it's no problem. You can still continue and follow the rest of this presentation. Agent will still run synthetic tests, but the information that's provided from Wireless Insights, like roaming, voice, and packet capture, will not be available until the license is installed. This can also be done at a later time as well. So let's take a look at how to get started if you've never used Aruba UXI before. So the first thing is to go to our dashboard and create a new account. Now this is where you'll enter your information and you'll start by entering the first name, last name, and email address for the account. Go ahead and click Next, and then go check your email inbox that you just specified. You should have received a welcome email, and follow the link in the welcome email to set up your password. So now we've created a user account, but this user is not associated with any dashboard yet. So let's go ahead and log in for the first time and enter your username and password. And then accept the terms and conditions for using the product. Now we're on the first page where you want to enter your subscription information, or you can use a temporary grace key to get started. The grace key is valid for 30 days. Go ahead and select Next, and now give your dashboard a name, and typically you'll want to enter your company name. Go ahead and click Next again, and you're ready to get started and go to the account. So let's go ahead and go to our uh, Zebra device, and we will install the application. And we'll do that by going to Google Play and searching for Aruba UXI Agent. And you want to select the application with the green background. Once the application is installed, go ahead and launch it. And accept all the pop-ups that come up, as well as all the permissions that are required. Now, 
Now we're ready to get started and link this agent to our dashboard. So let's go to the onboarding wizard and select set up my first sensor. And here we can add a hardware sensor or we can add the agent. So select next and we're presented with a few options. We can either scan the QR code with the device camera or from that page, if the device doesn't have a camera, you can use the built-in barcode scanner to scan this, this QR code. Alternatively, we can copy down the provisioning token and use the MDM to install the application on the device. The easiest method is using the QR code, so that's what we use in this example. And once the QR code is scanned, you'll see a screen basically like this, where it says, uh, you know, everything is good and all the permissions have been accepted. Now we're ready to proceed with the onboarding wizard and it'll show you that we've uh, linked the agent to the dashboard. There's no need to create any wireless networks here. Um, we don't need to specify any wireless credentials because we're going to use whatever the device is connected to. And now we want to assign some tests to the agent. So we'll select a few applications and proceed with the onboarding wizard. Here you can choose to add additional users to your dashboard if you want. And once your setup is complete, you can go to the main dashboard. Now the agent runs in the background on the device and it runs a test cycle to run those synthetic tests that we've configured it for it to run. It runs that test cycle every five minutes. So it's gonna take around uh, 10 minutes or so before we start seeing data come through to the dashboard. But once that data starts coming through, you'll see your device as well as uh, the information on the applications that are being tested. You can add other devices by going to settings, select sensors and select add sensor. You'll choose the type of sensor. And again, this presents you with uh, the provisioning token or the QR code that you can use to add more devices to this dashboard. From here, there are a number of things you can do such as uh, add more devices, create device groups, add more tests for the sensors to do. Um, you might want to update the device thresholds, create reports, um, as well as enable uh, many of our UXI integrations. But that's it for this basic introduction. Thank you for watching.